reaching the fourth round, galloped into a 3-0 lead at Underhill against Barnet, who are having a good season in Division 3. With just 12 minutes registered, Colin Fielder gave Woking the lead. Three minutes later, Woking moved into a 2-0 lead. Clive Walker almost made it. Lenny Dennis did. The Vauxhall Conference side showing why they're second in the table. And with just over half an hour gone, the much-travelled Walker, once of the likes of Chelsea and Sunderland, appeared to have put the tie beyond Barnett's reach when he scored Woking's third with a great finish. Woking now in complete control, so enter Barnett's manager Ray Clements. He sent on Paul Wilson and the substitution paid dividends. Wilson set up a goal for Gerard McMahon. And Barnett then started to breathe a little easier as Mark Cooper gave them real hope. Cooper with time and space scored with a header. Barnett perhaps now feeling it might be their day after all. But as Woking began to wobble, Scott Steele managed to calm their nerves, scoring a fourth, and once again put them in the driving seat. The non-league side now 4-2 in front. But more twists to come. Once again, Barnett showed great character as the cards came tumbling down, and Lee Hodges was on hand to provide the finishing touches. And then in true cup tradition, Barnett drew level through Mark Cooper, his second goal of the game, and that's the way it stayed. Barnett won't relish the replay.